How do architects communicate? Often, they do so through the drawings they create to convey their ideas and thoughts. Architects use drawings as a primary means of communication because they are a form of visual language that convey complex ideas and concepts in a way that is easily understood by their audience. Not only that, but drawings are a form of graphic representation of a building. They are the medium from which buildings are made. Architectural graphic representation is a critical aspect of the design process as it allows architects and other professionals to share their ideas and concepts to clients, contractors, and other stakeholders. Through graphic representation, architects can convey important information about the building's function, aesthetic, and technical details such as structural systems, plumbing, and electrical layouts. Drawings also help architects organize spaces and layouts, as well as create important connections. In this video, we'll dissect the three most commonly used drawings, the plan, section, and elevation. We'll discuss what they are and why they are so important to understanding architecture. What is a plan? The drawing type that is often argued to be the most important and crucial is a plan. A plan visually represents the relationship between surfaces and volumes within a space or a set of spaces in a building. Even Le Corbusier in Towards a New Architecture stated, the plan is a generator. Without a plan, you have a lack of order and willfulness. The plan holds in itself the essence of sensation. A plan is a horizontal cut, typically at eye level, through a building that looks down onto that set building or space. It is a form of an orthographic projection that places the viewer looking down at the space from above, with the ceiling removed and the walls and other architectural features visible. Plans are a great way to represent the layout and arrangement of rooms, corridors, and other features within the building. A plan can help convey the important information about the size, shape, and layout, as well as the relationships between the different parts of a space. By using symbols, labels, and other graphical elements, a plan can provide a detailed and comprehensive overview of a space, making it easier for architects and designers to understand how it will be organized and how it'll be used. Plans are an essential tool for designing and construction buildings that are functional, efficient, and safe for their occupants. Although they are an important form of graphic representation, they are often used in conjunction with other drawing types, like the section. What is a section? Sections help architects take the architectural concept that was established within the plan drawing and materialize it. A section is the type of architectural drawing that investigates the relationship between spaces through a vertical cut that is taken through a building or space. One of the main goals of a section is to help study the movement of users between different spaces. In Manual of a Section, it is stated that the section is a place where space, form, and material meet with human experience. The section cut exposes both the interior and exterior profiles of a building and provides a view into a building that is typically not seen in the real world. Various graphic representation techniques are used to illustrate the architecture, like building sections that use solid fills to emphasize the form, or construction details that depict materials through lines and graphic conventions. Plans and sections are often used with one another to understand the multiple layers of a building's structure, materiality, and form. Adding a third drawing type, the elevation, helps architects add another layer of information. What is an elevation? An elevation is a type of architectural drawing that is used to graphically represent the vertical surfaces of a building, including its exterior walls and interior partitions. These drawings provide a two-dimensional orthographic projection of the surface of a building when viewed from one specific direction or orientation. Elevations are the types of drawings that are usually created after a plan and section has been drafted. Typically, elevation drawings are created for each of the four cardinal directions of a space of the building, including north, south, east, and west. The elevation drawing provides viewers with a detailed representation of the building's walls, including any doors, windows, and other architectural details. They allow architects and designers to study the elements of a building, such as the placement of windows or doors, as well as analyze the visual impact of these elements from different views. By examining elevations alongside plants and sections, architects can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the design and function of a building, helping them make informed decisions on its design. As we've seen, drawings are an essential tool for architects to communicate complex ideas in a visual form for comprehension. By using plans, sections, and elevations, architects generate a greater insight into the spaces and buildings they are creating. 
I hope this video has given you a better grasp of the role the drawings play in the world of architecture. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Dissect Architecture for more content like this. Thanks for watching!